Hello there, welcome to the Czech Republic. We are right in the middle of Europe in front of Panasonic factory. In this factory they are making final assembly of mobile phones. This includes downloading of all software according to customer requirements and packing with accessories and operating instruction in particular languages and distributing to many destinations. The city of Pardubice was selected in fall 2000 for its geographical location and electro-industry background. Construction started in summer 2001 and opening ceremony took place in March 2002. First product shipment happened in April 2002. Since then, we have shipped out more than 9 million mobile phones. During the assembly process, Operators stick logo labels, exchangeable covers, IMEI labels and rubber caps and so on to the mobile phones. Then they download software for the particular operator, pack everything to boxes and send them to the customer. One part of software is defined by customer himself. That part is called software customization. And what that customization means will be explained by Tomáš Richter, who is currently in Paris. Welcome to Paris, France. Panasonic distributes mobile phones to many countries in Europe and Russia. Each customer requires unique settings for his network and sometimes exclusive multimedia files. For example, here in France, they potentially have five customers. And as we said, France is not the only country which they ship to. And what about Great Britain, one of the most powerful European countries, full of demanding users? In this usually rainy and cold country, they also have potentially five customers. We are now in sunny Italy, which is one of the most important markets for Panasonic. Here they have four customers, and it makes 14 already. There is similar situation in remaining countries in Europe, where Panasonic also has mobile phone business. We could reach 140 customers this way, and we are still talking about just a single model, VS3. Each customer requires unique settings for his network services, such as web, GPRS, MMS, SMS and so on. But he also requires unique wallpapers, ringtones, MMS images and others. This is what makes up software customization. And don't be surprised, the total customization items for a single customer reaches huge numbers. It was not always like that before. In early times, GD75 had only 65 items in the customization. However, as time has gone by, the number of items has steadily increased and for VS3 we already have 1200 items. That's because mobile phones are becoming more and more advanced as they have more features. This requires bigger memory and therefore customization size also grows. For latest models, more than half of software content is prepared in PMACZ factory. But VS3 is not the only mobile phone they have. There's also A210, VS6, SC3, SA6, MX6, VS2, VS7, SA7 and MX7. You don't need to be an expert to calculate how many items with number of customizations and number of customers it gives. We'll do it for you. It makes more than 2 million items. Well, that's pretty big number and none of them must be wrong. Let's have a look at how these data were handled before just using a Microsoft Excel application. You can imagine it's not safe and even possible to maintain those data by using Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel application. And expect no mistakes. Humans are not perfect and there are no control functions in Excel. You have seen, for example, how difficult it is to recognize number zero from letter O. Time is ticking, pressure is growing, and reworks are expensive. As a result, we've had to perform many reworks in the past. Here you can see how many reworks in 2003 we had 
and how much they cost. Notice the highest number of reworks in October, 16, while the most expensive month for reworks was November. Many of them were due to very small mismatch, for example an additional space at the end of a setting, like the IP address. It was obvious with such experience that we need to develop a system which would help us to solve this problem. We call it eCustomize and it is user-friendly system with many data control features. Anybody now can access the system through internet, mobile operators, sales companies or engineering team members. They will submit the data to our database running on PMA CZ server. Data can be very quickly and mostly automatically exported to production as PDF files, into customization software tools using XML format, or can be provided to anybody in the world using secure HTML. And what is most important, unlike in previous system, no human being is touching the data again. Let's introduce QC Circle team members. Hello, my name is Tomáš Richter and I am engineering manager. Hello, my name is Lenka Malinová and I am customization engineer. Hi, my name is Peter Stemberský and I am software development expert. This team has met many times and has spent many hours before they could start system implementation. They had to meet with other departments such as IT, quality assurance, production, engineering or even human resources. And they also had to travel around the world to discuss with development teams. We are now in the production era in the Panasonic factory. The production process today is faster, more reliable and more effective. And we have Tomasz Richter here, back from his trip across Europe, and we will tell you something more about project history. The idea was born in January 2003 and the system model was finished in March. The first version for testing purposes was released in July 2003. Testing for X70 purposes was finished in February 2004. Project team member travels to Atlanta in the United States and PMCDU joined the project in March 2004. They had another meeting in May 2004 when development teams in Taiwan agreed to join the project. In June 2004 the system was successfully launched for X300 model. And just one month later it was successfully launched for X700 model. A very important milestone took place in February 2005, the Global E-Customize Conference. The Philippines factory agreed to join the project and many national sales companies joined the conference. PMC in Japan agreed to join the project in February 2005. By that time, European sales companies were given access to the system. And just one month later, in March 2005, Asian, Australian and New Zealand sales companies were given access to the system. The same happened to South American sales companies in June 2005. Mobile phones produced using e-customized system from X300 to X700 and VS3 have now reached more than 50 countries. E-Customize has truly become a global system. As a result, we have decreased number of reworks due to mistakes in customization data. And we have reduced preparation time of customization files by 70%. And we are more flexible. Just have a look at how the launch timing would look like without e-customize. You can see several software versions released at specific times and engineers had to prepare customization data for them, which takes time. But with the new system, it was like this. And even in difficult situation, we could keep the project on time. Having the e-customize system up and running, we are now considering future steps. One of them will be interconnection of Panasonic database with customers' databases. Thanks to a unified data format, that should not be any problem. So let's summarize what the e-customized benefits are. Unlike in 2003, we have no reworks in 2005 so far, which potentially saved up to a quarter of million euros. And lead time of customization files delivery to customers 
is shorter by 70%. Thanks to this, VS3 launch was shortened by 17 days. VS3 has been launched successfully with no mistakes in customization thanks to e-customize. And that's the way how Panasonic will reach even better quality. From Pardubice in the Czech Republic, Lenka Malinová. Gosei cho arigato gozaimashita.